You went straight to the final. So you're picked to anchor the French relay. Um, is, was it on the first night? Yeah, it was. It first, was on night, the first night, four by one. You're mm. at the you're at the back. How how does that feel when they when they <laughs> tell? Did they did you plan this in advance or was this something they put on you on the day? You mean that I anchor the, yeah. the relay, right? Sure. Um, I can't remember exactly, but I knew that I was going to be, um, you know, at French nationals, what we do is that we have, uh, two spots, right. Yep. To, to qualify for the, for the individual, uh, heart and the guys that are generally speaking, the, the, mm -hmm. the, the two, uh, highest on the box in the end, they're going to be in the relay, you know, on the, on the evening, right? Yeah, sure. Because, because they're in the best shape. So, so, and, and they're the fastest. So I knew somehow that I was going to be either first or, or last in the relay in position. Um, but no, 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 everything was decided uh, in between during the day. So I was just being, you know, uh, free to, to talk with, uh, with anybody and, uh, and, uh, just getting ready for the, for the, for the nights, for the nights, what was really back then, but I wasn't there again. So I, I don't know exactly how it happened, but what was really, um, uh, something that everybody talked about was Clément being in third position with me because he might not be at this time, the, the choice that everybody was going to make. Uh, we mm -hmm. had Alain Bernard, you know, we had all these guys that were like super fast, Jeremy Stravius, um, and they, and Fabrice fought for Clément to be in third position because he was in the shape of his life. He knew the guy from the States very well. He had this, you know, relay culture, the way we call it in French, mm -hmm. uh, you know, like the, you guys really have the, uh, in the States really have this, this culture of the relay that we, we really, uh, envy you so much. Sure. Um, so he was there and we, I mean, we train, two years together, you know, and he was, he was on my ass all the time, <laughs> all the time. You know, I was there and he was laying right after me and he was, you know, like making it super, super heavy for me mm -hmm. every day at practice. So I knew there was a synergy and I knew it was going to work. And, 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 and there was something else about this really the entire year he was I think that was the biggest mistake, maybe. Um, it was all about the American team and the Australian team that was blazing at the time that were just fighting each other uh, through uh, newspapers or, mm. or social media. They were sure. like, no, I'm the best, no, I'm the best. Right. And we were like, okay, let's not say anything. You know, we, we will let the, the time talk, right? We will let the the swimming talk. So, so, and that was, a, that was a, one of the best words of advice from Fabien Gillot, which was the, the captain of the team back then. And he told us, you know, don't lose your energy. Don't, you know, waste your energy uh, trying to, to, to fight with the, with these people. The, the real answer is in the water. So. Excellent. So, so, so we, well, that's, I think it's a very good advice. Yeah. So we, we got to the waiting room, you know, right before the, right before the, the, the relay. And we were like, you know what? Let's just have fun. Let's just have fun. It, it should be all about fun. We have nothing to lose. And I think we repeated this sentence maybe a hundred times <laughs> <laughs> because Clément was like livid, you know, it was like all white and we we're like, okay, it's going to be fine. You know, it's going to be all right. We had such a, such a crew, you know, Fabien was like the super captain that always has the good words and, I was going to be ready. We had Amaury Levo, mm. uh, which was our kind of um, what's his name? You know the guys from the from the Chicago Bulls, uh, uh, the um, ah, the crazy one. Uh, like Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman. Yes, <laughs> he was our Dennis Rodman for sure, hundred percent. That was our our Dennis Rodman. So, I mean, he was crazy, but we knew. Every time we had to count on him, he was there, you know, sure. yeah. and, uh, and that was super important to us. And then there was Clément and I, so the last two, uh, Clément benefited really from this time in the States. He swam at USC, I think, 
yeah. uh, and then came back to, to France a year or two before, uh, before the Olympics. And then we trained together and we knew, we knew it was going to be all right. 